Welcome back to the Joe Miller Show, KON Hot Talk, 1080 AM, 95.1 FM. And of course, Trump always in the news. I put up a post the other day that says you really think having Trump in this race is a positive thing. Whether or not you agree with his past political positions, whether or not you agree with his present political positions, the fact of the matter is the things that he's forcing the media to address and the things that he's interjecting into the discourse at the political level is positive. It enhances the dialogue. It forces the media to cover things it would otherwise not cover. Well, he has some unexpected support. It turns out Governor Huckabee weighed in and says, and this was yesterday, he says, my money is on Donald Trump. He believes that Trump will be the likely winner against Hillary Clinton in their current exchange of salvos over sexism. Specifically, you know, Hillary calling Donald Trump sexist and Donald Trump fired back. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. Say, hey, you got to interject the sex card into this, the gender card. Let's talk about you and Bill Clinton and Bill Clinton's sexual assaults on women. I mean, that didn't say that that explicitly, but pretty close to it. And, uh, of course, there's a long line of women that claim they were sexually assaulted by the president. Some claim they were raped by the president. And uh, Jennifer Flowers specifically claims that Hillary Clinton was effectively Bill Clinton's enforcer when some of these allegations surfaced. So uh, it's fair game, but, of course, the media would never talk about this stuff. Of course not. They'd never touch it. Just like the media wouldn't touch President Obama's background, they failed to vet him. He's vetted less than me, a U.S. Senate candidate. And the media, at all levels, let him get away with it. Well, Trump didn't. Now, some would argue, and I have on the show before, suggested that maybe, in fact, he went after the birth certificate because he wanted that you know, 30 to 40 percent core that could carry him to victory in a multi-candidate race for the presidency. I don't know. I do know he's an outspoken guy, and he always has been. That is consistency in Trump. People have pointed out that there is inconsistency in political position, but he's always tried to buck the trend. I just watched last night a YouTube of him on the Oprah show. And if you listen to him talk about making America great again, it sounds almost like what he's saying today. And this clip was from 20 years ago or so. So anybody that says that he's a flip-flopper and consistent, okay, I, I can buy part of that. I mean, his comment about his sister, who's a pro-abort federal jurist, you know, saying that she'd be good for the Supreme Court, inexcusable. Did he mean it? I don't know. Maybe it was just a nice statement to his sister, but it should concern any pro-lifer support for the Clintons in the past, but I can tell you the things he's saying today about the Clintons, they're aggressive, and they're the type of things that I can tell you if you were in cahoots with the Clintons, they'd never allow it. Now, a lot of times you've got people in the establishment that allow rhetoric because it's kind of like a pressure relief valve. People then think, oh, we've got somebody representing our interests because they're out there calling McConnell a liar or whatever it may be. The reality is the Clintons don't tolerate the level of disrespect amongst those that they have side deals with, I can tell you that Trump, I think he's the real deal versus the Clintons. I don't think there's any type of side deal to allow Hillary to win. I believe he wants to win. I mean, he said back in this YouTube clip on the Oprah show, he said, look, I, I don't think I'll ever run for president, but if I do, I'll be in it to win it. And the way he's headed right now, I mean, his polling numbers are static or increasing in some areas. Of course, Cruz giving him a run for his money. And Iowa, some other areas, but the reality is, I think Trump's here to stay as a major contender for the nominee in the Republican Party. I think there's a likelihood that he will win. And I think that Huckabee's statement, kind of that hand up that he gave him, is a recognition amongst some of the candidates that he's likely the guy. The real question that all of us have to ask ourselves what does that mean for us? And I've posited before on the show, I believe that Donald Trump is far better for America than an establishment candidate from either the Republican or Democratic parties. We know exactly where this country is headed with establishment candidates. Down the tubes. There's no question about that. We're headed in exactly the same expansionary type federal government, reduction of individual liberties, increased taxes, uh, more involvement overseas in areas we shouldn't be involved in. We know the outcome of a Hillary win, a Jeb Bush win, a Marco Rubio win, a Kasich win, probably even a Fiorina win, those things are givens. And it's something that's not going to put this country forward. It's going to continue to 
put us behind and into internationalism. So, again, Trump, he gets my vote if he's the nominee. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. If he's not, I think he will be if he continues in the direction he's headed. Real question that you got to ask is, who's he going to pick as his running mate? I can think of a few that would enhance his conservative creds. We can talk more about that, other issues after the break. Stay with us. The Joe Miller Show will be right back. 